Hey traders, two weeks ago, 14 days, I posted this video on my YouTube channel. Be very much aware, a possible drop of plus 5% in the market is coming. And let's see what actually happened in those 14 days since I posted this video. Today is the 2nd of August and I posted this video on the 19th of July. And as I do mention in my video that I put in my shorts in the market a little bit before, actually three days before this video on the 19th was recorded. But today on the 2nd of August, let's see how the market is. As you can see, this is the S&P 500. And since I posted the video with this line marking here, and all the way down now to the 20 moving average, which I predicted in the video, there's about 4.7%. So if you include that I actually shorted a little bit before, I already made those 5%. If we look at the Dow Jones, I said in the video that even though the Dow Jones has shown a tail bar, I was a little bit concerned because it was also showing a lot of power and it boosted up a whole week after that and now it's finally dropping. Ever since I posted my video on the 19th of July, as you can see now, so far the Dow Jones has dropped about 2% and we have about 3% down to the 20 moving average. So the Dow Jones has actually seemed to be a little bit stronger than the other indices. If we go to the NASDAQ, you can see that I posted my video when the NASDAQ was showing 19,809. So if we measure the distance here, I set down to the 20 moving average, that was 5.3%, más o menos. And right now we are actually at minus 7% in the NASDAQ. So that means both the NASDAQ, the Dow, and the S&P 500 has been going down ever since I said this in the video. And it means that the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 has actually, both of them, hit my initial target, which was the 20 moving average. The S&P 500 is resting there. The NASDAQ is a little bit underneath it and the Dow Jones is on its way. What happens from here is a good question, and I don't know, but you could say, well, it could always continue all the way down to this previous support down here. It could, but it wouldn't surprise me, given the fact that the market has been like it is, that it's probably maybe going to bounce off of the 20 moving average and either do a retest of the top and then go down. This could be one very plausible scenario. The other scenario could actually be that it does not only a retest, but it does what's called a blow off top where it goes crazy high and then it starts to fall down from here. When is that going to happen? Well, this is really hard to say, but as I will conclude again, I will monitor the weekly uh, chart to see if there's anything telling me that now it is. But since we're in August now and I come to think about September in the American markets, if there's not going to be any rate cut, it could be that the market gets really upset about that because this is what they're looking for. So maybe in September or after September, the market is really going to drop. But so far, I have actually met my targets for my shorts hitting the 20 moving averages. I will show you to now. So I'm going to close them. I actually closed half of them yesterday, but I'm going to show you the last ones. As you can see here, my S&P 500 shorts is up 186%. I can do a F5 to see if it's even higher. No, wait, 186%. And the other one is up 285%. So 285% and 186% in about two weeks is very satisfactory. And I took uh, some money off the table yesterday and I kind of wanted these ones to run, but given the fact that now they have hit the, the target, I will stay true to my original goal, which is to take the money off the table and say thank you very much for, for these winnings. Um, I hope you like this video and I hope that we can do another video where we can see what the S&P 500 is going to do, if it's going to bounce off the 20 moving average, or if it's going to continue further down to the next support level around 5,000. Hey again, here's some addition to the content that you just saw. The content you just saw was actually recorded on the Friday, the 2nd of August. Today, it's Monday, the 5th of August, so it's only the weekend that has passed. The US market hasn't opened yet, but already in pre-market, it's quite much down. Why is that? It's because the Japanese Nikkei index lost 12.4% today, which is probably one of the biggest drops since 1987 on a one-day drop. 
So of course, pre-markets is really much hit by this in the US, but also the markets around the world is of course very much hit by this. As you can see here, the Dow futures is down 781 points so far. But let's look at the chart and uh, look at what has happened since uh, the last recording. Now the market has got underneath this trend line that I have drawn here. And you can see the trend line that I've drawn here almost coincided with the 20 moving average. And since given the market has been very strong, it was likely for me to understand that the market could actually bounce from here and go retest the high or even do a blow off top. Now, as we see the red one is down here underneath the 20 moving average, and I'm watching that the RSI value is also under 50, I think another scenario is going to play out. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we could see a scenario where price goes to these level that I put here, or even further down to the next level down here. And I just want to release this for a second. That means that we have a scenario where price goes down and touches these lines and goes and retest the trend line that I just drew in in order to continue down. Also, this can actually happen where price even goes all the way down to this line and then it can go only to this area here where we now become resistance and then it will continue further down. So kind of now we could say you're taking off a little bit of the blow off top maybe. But there's actually also a third scenario which could be very probably that when the market goes here, it goes either down to the line and then up this small area and then down again. And that would make that you have a shoulder head shoulder formation on the weekly chart. And this will be very interesting to watch because if we get a shoulder head shoulder formation on the weekly chart, I'm sure there is lots more downturn to come. But so far, as you can see from where I called out the first video to the blue, the 20 moving average was 5.5%. And right now it's down 11%. So given the take that you have followed my advice, you could have been up 11% on, on, your, on, your, on your trade right now. Okay, let's look at the S&P 500, it's right here. I also drew in here some lines where I think this could be the first line of support now that price has broken through the 20 moving average and has also broken through the trend line that you can see here. And also the RSI value is under 50. But let's try just to measure from the line to the 20 moving average about 4.85% and right now it's actually down 7%. All right, let's have a look at the Dow Jones as well. Now you can see the Dow Jones, which in the beginning showed a little bit of fight going back, even though I saw this tail bar, which I said was a clear signal that this is going to end soon. You can now see that the Dow has fallen all the way down to the 20 moving average and is actually right now touching this trend line. Of course, this is a weekly chart, so a lot of things can happen, but let's try to do the measurement from when I called it out. You can see here down to the 20 moving average is 3%. And right now we're down 3.7%. So it's still a really nice drop. What's interesting to see, I know that indicators, you have to be very careful about them, but notice here, the stochastics, you can see the stochastics is basically embedded for several weeks. Then it goes down for a small retracement, goes up again, goes down, but only to the 50 line and goes up. But the last two times it goes up, it kind of stops right on the 80 line whereas before it was embedded. And this for me tells me that there is some kind of divergence between this area we see here with the embedded area and also in this area. So these two tops might could might signal a top. Of course, it's really hard to predict what's going to happen, but it wouldn't surprise me that again, that the market is going to go down and touch one of these support areas in order to go up and maybe stop around here and then continue down. Let's see how it happens. But so far you can see my trade has worked out fine. And the, of course the thing I have to do better the next time is to follow my trade until the market tells me that the trade uh, has ended and therefore the trend has changed from uh, red back to green basically. So thank you for watching this edition as well. Cheers.